Uh, hello everyone, in the last video we created this plan, now I'm going to add some hatches and dimensions. Uh, so first, how about I go to layers and I want to create a new layer, I want to name it wall and I would like to change the color or maybe I can leave it on black and I want to select everything that we have here and change it to layer wall. I want to also add a new layer for hatch and uh, maybe I can go with a gray color and I want to have another layer for dimensions and I want to change the color for this one. Okay, now I want to go to this layer, double click on the hatch layer and I want to type H which is for hatch and I want to select everything, hit enter and it's going to allow me to create a hatch, a solid hatch, okay. Right? So now you see that uh, the lines are in black because they are on the wall layer, but the hatch is gray. Okay. Next we can continue with creating dimensions. So I can double click here to go to the dimensions layer and I can type DIM which is shortcut for dimension. Uh, you can either change the style by clicking on them or you can just do that later. Right, so how about I click on this, go to properties, and uh, these are the properties of this dimension. So if I go to edit style, you can see that everything can be changed here. The font, the uh, height of the text, maybe it's too big, I want to change it to 0.25. Uh, preview, OK. Uh, or maybe I can go back to edit style. And uh, I can change this to like 0.5 to be a little bit larger. Okay, that's better. Uh, and because I changed the default uh, style, it's going to match the new dimensions with the one that we created. If I change the continue to yes, click uh, for the first one, it's waiting for you to click for the next items. And then you can right click to escape the command. Uh, now if I select any of them and go to edit style, because all of them are like default, if I change this one, all of them are going to be changed. So I can change the model space scale to like 0.5, okay, and all of them will be kind of smaller. Uh, if you want to change stuff you can do that. For instance I can go to the hatch, change the hatch layer to some other color and it's going to update that or I can change it to like black and it's going to update the color of the hatch. If I select the hatch, uh, if I go to properties, I can change the hatch from here to maybe this or something, right? And you're gonna see that it's gonna change simultaneously. So how about I go with this one and then I change this to like 45 degrees and now it's kind of a, a diagonal hatch. Uh, maybe I can go to the layer, make it a little bit lighter so you can differentiate it from the wall itself. Uh, if you think the dimension lines are still too big, you can go to properties, select one of them, go to edit style and we can keep making that smaller by changing this value, it's going to change uh, both the text and the arrows. Maybe it's too small now, I can go with 0.35. I would like to add one more dimension line which is continuous for this other side, click for the first one, then we can keep going. Uh, a couple more here. Uh, it's a good idea to turn the grid snap off 
so you can locate it anywhere that you want. I want to change this to continuous. Uh, another thing that you can change is more options of the layers. So under layers for the wall, we know it's continuous. We can also change the width from default to like 0.3. And when printed, it's going to be uh, actually much thicker.